Gwen Ridenour with the Steam Power Classroom, and today I have for you some science titles that are in graphic novel format. And these are going to be for upper elementary, middle school, and high school kids, and will help them enjoy some interesting concepts in science. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start with a new author that I've, or an author that I've newly discovered named Jim Aldaviani, and I discovered him through this wonderful book called Primates, and it is the story of uh, Jane Goodall, Diane Fossey and Berute Galdicus. And these are pioneer women. They uh, studied chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans, respectively. And this story is, uh, again, it's in graphic novel format. It's beautifully illustrated by Morris Wicks. And it's uh, a biography, a, a joint biography, but also a fictionalized account. So they've taken some liberties in the stories and made it more into an enjoyable narrative to kind of let you dip your foot into the pool um, and get to know these amazing women. So this is not a research uh, book. This is more a, just it's a narrative. It's their stories. And then if they have, if they can pique people's interests, then those your readers can then find out more about these amazing women. So I love this book. Would highly recommend it. And once I discovered this one, then I had to know a little bit more about Jim Ottaviani. So I looked him up, and he's got a wonderful site called and publishing company called GT Labs. Um, and there, I discovered this book called Niels Bohr's Life, or sorry, Suspended in Language, and this is about Niels Bohr, his life discoveries, and the century he shaped. And he's considered the father of quantum physics, and this one is done in black and white illustrations. But again, who would have ever thought about Niels Bohr told in graphic novel format? I think it's really cool. Um, yeah. So check that one out. And then another new one that he has, and I saw this one at the bookstore and just had to pick it up because I'm now a collector of his work, is about Richard Feynman, um, the physicist. And again, this one's back in, in a color format, so it's kind of a, almost a cross between the two formats. It has it looks a little bit more like the Niels Bohr, the Niels Bohr title, uh, but it's in color. So just really cool ways to get to know some pretty fascinating scientists and get excited about those subjects. The next collection I'm going to share with you is a bit older. These are the cartoon guides to a variety of types of sciences. We have the cartoon guide to genetics, the cartoon guide to physics, and the cartoon guide to chemistry here. And there are some others as well, but these are the ones I can show you today. And these were written a while back. Instead of graphic novel format, it's more um, cartoon, more comic strip type look. And, but these are another really great way to just to dive into this material and in a way that doesn't feel like it's assigned, but something that kids might just pick up and explore at their own pace. Um, so add this to your collection. They're, they're not all that hard to find, even though they are a little bit dated. The information's still relevant, so check those out. Um, and then finally, I'm going to show you two from the Manga Guide series. Now this series is quite extensive as well. There's a dozen or so titles, and they're in science, and there's some really great math titles as well. Um, so what I have for you today is the Manga Guide to Biochemistry and the Manga Guide to Molecular Biology. But there is also the Manga Guide to the Universe. There's um, Manga Guide to Relativity. There's lots of, lots of choices. So this is Japanese manga style. And so you have this kind of layout. And interspersed with that, then you have, I'm not going to be able to find it now that I want to, um, they've got some narrative in there too. So, <laughs> isn't that funny? Didn't show up when I wanted it to. Um, but mainly, I mean, it's, it's, got this, it's got these really great illustrations, and it's about a couple of kids learning about this material. So you've got their story, you're getting to know those characters, but then you're also diving into some pretty deep concepts in, in science. Uh, so check those out too. So I hope you enjoyed those titles. Those might be some really great picks to throw in your car if you're going on summer vacation. And see if your kids will pick them up and, and find out what they learn. We'll see you next time.